Hey, Danny here. Hey, welcome to my vlog. Well, I've picked up the new Escape. And wouldn't you know it, my driver's side caliper is hanging up. So I'm driving less than 30 miles an hour here because I've really heated up that that uh, that spindle. So what I gotta do is I'm gonna be stopping here at a gas station and leaving it. Gonna have to run home and uh, get uh, get my new impact, get my jack, get back here, get that caliper broke loose, and then uh, continue on. But that's the thing; it's been sitting for about three or four months. And uh, that one caliper is now hanging. It's common. So, unfortunately. So stay tuned. Okay, well, I'm not going to waste this video. Um, what's happened is the... As you can see, it's all the way out right now. Because the brake pads are worn all the way down so what's happened is it's pushing all the way out the pistons all the way out in there so it's not it's not releasing so right now I got it broken I got it broken loose and we should be able to I should be able to get home let me get the this back on as you can see I used the the Arobi. it broke that stuff right loose no problem and and what you also can see is I'm using my Stanley right here it's doing everything I needed to do for light all right we are on our way we got that to let go what a challenge huh Okay, so we're on our, I'm on my way home. That caliper hasn't closed all the way, so I managed to get out of there without having to use any brakes. And I really don't need any all the way home, which is good until I get into town and then I'll have to touch pad it, but then I'm only like a mile and a half from the house. So, unfortunately, that's the whole that's the whole problem is because the brake pads are worn right down to they haven't started hitting the rotors yet, but they're definitely they're definitely definitely getting ready to do that, and that means that piston is all all the way out, and it's not getting it's not getting any support to uh, release. So anyway, which I need, I'm gonna need pads all the way around. So that's gonna be this weekend's little chore. And now it's not, dra now it's not dragging. So it's got plenty of, plenty of oomph to get up the hills and doing really, really good. Home safe and sound. This, this was the one that was locking up. Alright, locked up. So got it home with no 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 problems after I broke that after I broke that loose. So um need to do the brake pads in the front and be good good to go. This particular model has brake pads front and rear. As you can see that really those really need to be uh, <laughs> I've got real rotors that need to be taken care of too on this on this side here so she de definitely needs a brake a brake job and as you can tell that again that uh, this one's got rotors all the way around
it, didn't you? Yeah, welcome to my blog. And this one's Project Escape. And it's on the new Escape, which is the hybrid. And today, I'm going to go ahead and do the, the brake pads in the front after last, last night's episode of being get, picking it up and the uh, uh, brake shoe or the uh, caliper hanging up. Main reason is because it was so fully extended. Because um, the pad, the pads are done. Um, you had enough pad on there that it wasn't cutting into the cutting into the ro uh, rotor yet, which is a good thing. Because <laughs> I really don't want to have to replace the rotor right now. So this is what we're doing today. And I'm gonna get this get this going and get it done. Use the new impact. It works fantastic. swap out tires these are all right for summer but these definitely not these are definitely not weather track uh, winter winter tires so I'm taking them off the, the old three escape putting that putting those back on that one the difference we got is talking a uh, Find out the freaking these are the O three brake pads will not fit this. <laughs> 